There's not one person at MI6 who isn't talking about it. Talking about what, exactly? That what you did in Mexico was one step too far. That you're finished. What do you think? I think you're just getting started. This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today I'll be discussing Spectre, a chilling character study of a man suffering from debilitating alcoholism who causes himself and those around him tremendous pain through his self-destructive behavior and refusal to acknowledge his problem. Directed by Sam Mendes, Spectre tells the harrowing story of James Bond, a British government worker grappling with the day-to-day -day struggles of alcohol addiction. Burdened with a stressful job and facing problems at work, James makes the risky choice to engage in some casual drinking to take the edge off, willfully ignoring his past issues with alcohol. He tells himself he can have just one martini. He pretends he's different from other problem drinkers. But 10 cocktails later, James is back in the personal hell of poor decision-making that consistently lands him and millions of alcoholics like him in life-threatening situations. For those of us with an alcoholic loved one, the cycle of addictive behavior Daniel Craig so brilliantly portrays will be all too familiar. Lashing out at acquaintances in a drunken rage, getting behind the wheel while intoxicated, trying in vain to escape the problems his own reckless choices created, and in some of the most distressing moments of the film, even engaging in physical violence. Sure, the drinking seems like fun at first. It always does. James is the life of the party. But soon enough, he's waking up from yet another bender, his body aching and his mind consumed by profound guilt for choices he made while inebriated. The only way to forget? Yet another drink, of course. Meanwhile, friends like Eve Moneypenny, Q, and billionaire widow Lucia Sciara can only look on and watch as Bond spirals ever downward toward rock bottom. It's Spectre's pointed reminder that the pathway to redemption can only be found by the addict and the addict alone. James's painful journey reaches its denouement in one of the film's most difficult to watch sequences in which he is confronted about his personal demons during an intervention staged by Christoph Waltz's stern but supportive sponsor Franz Oberhofer. Ironically, James feels betrayed by those who want to help him most, perceiving them as members of a sinister cabal that's out to get him instead of allies that want nothing more than to help him battle his devastating disease. Yet, through the help of his support network, Bond emerges from his darkest hour a renewed man, a hopeful future of sobriety and AA meetings ahead of him. One can only hope that filmgoers heed the message of Spectre and recognize that resources to help are out there. If you or a loved one recognize your own behavior in James Bond's, make the right choice. Find a local 12-step program or call the National Drug and Alcohol Treatment Hotline 24 hours a day. The time to change your life is now. Right now. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.